before I got my bad, I didn't feel bad, you know, I could get around and everything, but I did have episodes of shortness of breath, and I had to be rushed to the hospital, say, three times a year and stuff like that. That was my downfall, getting short of breath. You know, I don't know if you guys ever experienced that. You know, not be, being able to breathe, that's when um, my doctor suggested that I get a bath. I figured like it was time for me to do it. It was time for me to do it. You know, because that doctor said I wouldn't still be living if I hadn't. So, so I'm, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. When I got out of surgery, um, there was a nurse practitioner in my room, and he goes, it's your heart right there. And um, I said, oh, well, this thing here? He said, yeah, that's your elevator. And I kept it close to me at all times, and I still do. I protect it like a baby. So, so that it, it, I got used to it quick. I don't know about other people, but I got used to it real quick. It, it's simple. You know, a kid could do it. You know, if I could do it, I know a kid could do it. So um, keep your bandage tight, keep it clean, change your bandage every day. You know, and uh, you know, the key, key thing is getting a, a good caregiver. My lovely wife is my caregiver, and she takes care of me. She changes my bandage every day. I'm 64 years old. You see what I'm saying? And so, of course, I'm going to have limitations, you know, doing stuff that I could do 30 years ago. But I'm doing stuff I, I'm doing stuff now within the last two or three months. Um, I haven't did for like 15, 20 years. You know, like strenuous, strenuous yard work and stuff like that. And more, more in lines, and, you know, stuff like that. I couldn't do that a couple of years ago. But I feel great now. You know, no, no doubt about it. My quality of life is very good right about now compared to before I got my LVAD because um, I'd say, um, i give you an example on my quality of life and the way I felt um, before I got the LVAD was about 50%, but now I'm about up to 80%, so I feel real good about it. I, t I tell them to get one if, if they really have serious heart problems. Just have faith in the equipment and take care of the equipment, take care of yourself.